Hey there, Happy New Year everyone. I'm going to be doing a very quick video down and dirty here to celebrate the new year because boy do we have a cool surprise for the new year. Finally everyone, Prey Dogs Unreal Engine Virtual Reality Mod has gone live. This is something we've been waiting for for such a long time. I, of course, am Jolly Julian, and I'm Jolly because I love VR. And right now, I'm just going to show you how to get started with this mod very quickly uh, with some down and dirty key points. I'm sure I'll probably be doing some videos going forward that'll get a little bit more into detail about this. But right now, I just wanted to get everyone started so that they could see what this mod is all about, how to utilize it, with whatever VR headset you have, I'll be focusing primarily today on the Quest 2 and Quest 3 headsets because that's what an awful lot of people have. But if you're using a Valve Index or an HP Reverb or uh, the, the old Vive and Vi Vive Pro, things like that, it'll work as well. Okay, let's dive right in here. First of all, what this mod does is it basically will allow you to play Steam VR flat screen regular games that were created in Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5 in your VR headset. Now, a couple of caveats here. In order to do this, you do have to have a computer that you can play these Steam games on. In order to do this in virtual reality, you probably want to have a fairly beefy computer with a good graphics card. Now, I'm using a simple 2080 Ti graphics card. It's um, a few generations old. It worked fine for me. I did a test of this in Jedi Fallen Order, and I was playing Jedi Fallen Order in virtual reality. So very cool. But this will not work. If you're just using the Quest 2 or the Quest 3, a standalone headset by itself, you can't do this. Obviously, you need to be able to connect to your computer to play the Steam games to begin with. That's the first caveat. The second one is there will be some tinkering. This is a new thing. Every game is going to have little nuances that are going to have to be tinkered with. This is not something for somebody that wants things to just be plug and play and, you know, real quick and super simple. However, what I'm going to give you today is how to get it installed on your computer connect your headset to it, get into a game, and start it going. This is the simple setup. Again, more videos probably to come in the future, but I wanted to get this out right away. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link that's in the description for uh, getting this mod. And that's going to take you to this screen. Now, scroll down here. You're going to scroll down to download the mod, and you're just going to click on this link right here. That is going to open up this screen. And you just go down to right here, just looking for the download. Uh, you're just going to click on that. It's going to allow you to save it somewhere. You're going to save that right to your computer wherever you can get to it easily. Then once you do that, you're going to open that file location. Now I'm just going to go to where I save my uh, mods and so forth. I've just got a few of them in here, but I, I put it in my installs. Then what you're going to do is you're going to extract that entire folder out to your computer somewhere. I just put it on my desktop so I can easily get to it because you're going to need to launch this every time you want to use this mod. Now, once you've done that, find that folder. Mine is right here on the desktop, UEVR. I double clicked on that. You're going to double click on the UEVR Injector EXE. You're going to want to right click on the UEVR Injector and go to Run as Administrator. You need to run it as an administrator. If you don't, it will ask you to relaunch it as administrator. Click on yes, it's going to open it up. Now, mine, I'm going to have you do this the simplest way possible, and this is using Steam Link, which will allow you to connect your Quest 2 or Quest 3 using Steam Link very easily to your Steam games. I had the best luck quickly getting this started by selecting Open VR, and then you're going to run Steam Link. Now I'm in my headset. And I'm recording for you now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, press the uh, Quest Meta Quest button here, uh, the non raised button on the right controller, and I'm going to launch Steam Link. It's going to bring up this screen here. It's going to try to connect to my computer that I have already linked up with my Quest. Super simple to do in Steam Link. I'm going to click Connect. There goes my Quest 3 connecting to my computer. Launch Steam VR automatically. I'm going to click down there on desktop one. That's going to bring up my desktop for me. And now I can see that I've got my uh, uh, injector there all set to go and it is ready to run. Okay, now 
We're going to click on Steam. We're going to launch Jedi Fallen Order. This is the one that I'm using. It's the only one that I've tested this on so far. Launching the game now in Steam VR. Now what we have to do is press the non-raised button on our left controller, the one with the little three lines there. That brings up your Steam menu again. Click on the desktop down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my controllers down, and I'm at my keyboard. Okay, so I'm right in front of my computer now. I'm going to use the mouse to open up the VR injector. We're going to click up here on where it says PID 5740. We're going to click on that and we're going to select Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's telling it that we want it to inject the UEVR into Jedi Fallen Order. We're going to click inject. Now, while I'm still at my computer, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go over and click on continue on the game. So if I click on the game itself here, I am gonna go over and click on continue. Then I'm gonna pick up my controllers off my desk and I'm gonna go down here and click on now playing down in Steam and go to return to game. And now you'll see that I am in Jedi Fallen Order. Now you see this screen in front of me here. That you get rid of by pressing down on both joysticks as buttons. That opens and closes that UEVR menu. There I opened it back up. Now I'm closing it by pressing both buttons. Now I can move my character and I am in glorious VR. Here I am looking around. Now you can see, you know, it doesn't, it's, I can't turn all the way around 360 in this particular game. I think it's just the way this game is built. But I'm using my VR controllers, not an Xbox controller, to control where I go. Everything's in glorious 3D. It's still in third person. One thing I will tell you that I had to do. Let me go into, so I pressed down on both joystick buttons. I, here is where you can change your settings. I'm using my VR controller, my Quest 3 controller, to navigate this now. This is all done in VR with my controller. And if I go down to Unreal, the one thing I had to do in this particular game was I had to click on Unreal. And I had to change this setting right here to synchronized sequential. When I came into the game originally, it was set to native stereo. I had to change that to synchronized sequential, and then everything was just fine. I'll show you in a moment how I knew to change that to synchronized sequential in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to close that again. And you can see, here I go. I can just run down here, and I can push this stormtrooper right off the edge, just like that. So there you go. That's how easy it is. Let me get back to my computer. I'm going to get out of the game, get back to the computer. I'm going to show you a couple more things very quickly. All right, now I'm back out of my headset and back at my computer. And I'm just going to show you here. Go to the link that is in the description of this video for the Universal Unreal Engine VR Injector testing log. This is where they've made a spreadsheet that will show you exactly what games will work with this. It's going to be constantly updated, I'm sure. And it also kind of breaks down how well they work. So for example, if we go to in the uh, menu up top here, first of all, you've got some starter stuff here that you can do. But if we go to the testing log, you can look up whatever game it is you want to play and see if it is in this list. So if you do a search and I type in, say, Jedi, then I can look for, there it is, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order right here. And that will show me um, how well, and right now, see, and that will show me how it works. It shows me that it's in third person, Steam game. It'll even give you a link to some YouTube stuff. But over here in the green, it says works well. So it doesn't say works perfectly, but it works well. And then next to that, it says synchronized sequential. That's what let me know that I had to switch that setting from native stereo to synchronize sequential in order for it to work. So really nice that they have that in there. Again, this is an experimental mod. The Prey Dog team have been working on this for a long time. So amazing that they've gotten it this far and that we have this now to play with. But be prepared for things to not always work perfectly, to have to do a little bit of tinkering, to have to do a little research, things like that. And if you haven't already become a member of the Discord community for the Flat to VR uh, community, you'll want to do that because that's where they're constantly updating information about this mod. They're really great there. A lot of stuff to do here.
Also, one thing we didn't get to talk about yet are profiles. Each game, as people are using this mod, people are going to be creating profiles that you can load up that will allow you to be able to play these games with the settings that other players have already used. Go to the link for the uh, UEVR profiles in the description below, and it will take you right to this document. All you have to do is find the game that you want, but all you do is you uh, right-click and go to Download. To download that zip file once you've downloaded that zip file you're going to save it wherever you want it i've already got it saved here so i'm just not going to bother saving that again then you open that file once you've downloaded that you're going to go into the uevr mod interface you're going to go to import config once you get there you're going to navigate to where you saved that zip file you're going to double click on that and it's going to import that directly into your unreal vr mod directory and you should be all set to go again i have not tested this yet but that is the way you do it. I hope this has been helpful. I'm very excited to try this stuff out, to have you try it out. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you tried a couple games out, if this all worked for you, if anything here wasn't clear and you need something clarified. I, like everyone else, is going to be experimenting and playing with this. We're all learning this together, but hopefully this gets you started if you choose to use Steam Link to connect your Quest 2 or Quest 3 to your PC and play some Steam VR games in glorious virtual reality. You can also use this with Virtual Desktop or Quest Link. You might have to change it from Open VR to Open XR, uh, depending on which one you're using, so you can experiment with that a bit. I believe it needs Open XR for Virtual Desktop. Maybe it'll need that for Quest Link as well. Open VR worked great for me uh, so far in Steam Link. Take care, everyone. Have a great Happy New Year. Sorry this is such a quick video. Is down and dirty. I know it's not all that polished, but I wanted to get this out to you as quickly as possible. Here's to a great beginning of the year and more videos to come. Jolly Julian is out of here.